Welcome to the MMA show. I'm Mark the Muscle, Mo Wilson. I'm a muscle, mu- a muscle? No, I'm Master Wang. UFC 112. Hello, Beef the CP. <laughs> Howdy. This is the first UFC for Abu Dhabi. Yep, open air as well. Open air. That'll bring a, a different concept all together, I think, to the fights. I wonder, uh, okay, will Abu Dhabi still be there? You know, the uh, tourist trade has sort of disappeared, you know, it's uh, crazy. Uh, I was about to say crazy Arabs, that's probably not very. <laughs> probably not PC. No, uh, no, it's. Right, okay, <laughs> go straight to the top of the bill there. <laughs> Anderson Silva <laughs> versus Damien Meyer. Anderson Silva, Damien Meyer, fantastic. It's a really good fight. I was, I'm looking forward to seeing it. The, uh, it is the cliche of the old striker grappler thing. I was more looking forward to Vitor Belfort, Anderson Silva, but that's not to be the case. So, talk me through the fight. Anderson Silva, if not one of the best strikers in the MMA game. As you see, you get the grappler, Damien Meyer, one of the best, and it's not just MMA, Jiu Jitsu, you know, I mean, on the big sort of oh, grappling tournaments in Abu Dhabi, Ed you know, all that grapple quest, all that sort of stuff, you know, phenomenal. And now you see, it's that the the main thing for me is that Damien Meyer doesn't think he's a striker. He learned from what happened with Nate the Great. And that was uh, it. That- I would have said he would have got knocked out very quickly if it wasn't for the fact that it happened to him against Nate Marquardt. He's realised with the high level strikers, he can't go in there and throw some kicks, throw some punches in that first. Do what you're best at. But by the same token, he's not a great wrestler. He's got some traps. It's going to be difficult to trap Anderson Silva. And more dangerously, if he clinches up to try and pull guard, whatever he is, he's good at pulling guard. But see, he clinch up with Anderson Silva, Astrid Strickland's nose. That's his game. He will knee it all other place. So that that's a that's a problem for him. Having said that, though, I have got a feeling that I still think that uh, Anderson Silva will win. Who 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 was the dude who done the best against Anderson Silva? Travis Luter. And what did he do? Sat him and punched his head. So I I I'm hoping that uh, can Nate is uh, no Nate. Damien Meyer has looked at that tape, has looked at that sort of breakdown. Also, when Dan Henderson fought and first Silver, round, first, first round, round he was really that, that wrestling up close, keep it can take away the striking ability and pressure him. That I hate, seems I hate to, to be say the it, way. But I don't really particularly like, like watching the guy or his his personality, but Chiu Shonen I think probably has the best chance of all of them at beating. Hi, that Anderson pressure. Silver. Pressure. Because he's not going to try and do anything else. He's not going to try and be excited. He's not going to try. He's just going to try and get him down, hold him down, and get a decision. It'd be as simple as that. Then he would fight Damien Mayer and lose immediately. <laughs> Having said that, <laughs> the fight is the way it, where it is. Striker grappler. It's going to if it ends up on the ground for any period of time. I know Anderson Silva has got a black belt in jiu-jitsu, trains with the Nagara brothers, but he's not on the same level as Damien Mayer. By the same token though, if it's, if it's standing for any period of time, unless Damien Meyer's constantly running back the whole time, he's going to get wasted. Well, I, I reckon that Damien Meyer is going to win due to sunshine. Anderson Silva's going to be like, ah, see, see the sun, you've got sun in the eyes, Damien Meyer go in and that's it. So Damien Can you Meyer. fight with a sun visor on, is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they're both Brazilians, you know, so they're both used to the sun. But... Good. That's a sunny country. That's deep insight there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so, in Brazil. There yeah. we go. And it was sunny. <laughs> I've been a great yard with it was sunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were just shot in a flame. <laughs> and uh, Damien go- Meyer. Damien Meyer, I'm going Anderson Silva. There we go. Next fight, B for the CP. Is a... Uh, it's a really BJ good card. BJ the Marker Penn versus Frankie Edgar. BJ Penn versus Frankie Edgar. I think this is going to be a really good fight. The only issue I've got is Frankie Edgar is, is small again. It's another, maybe a, a slightly quicker Sean Shirk. Great wrestler, really good wrestler. He's got quite good hands as well, but the reach isn't there. I feel that's a... Also, don't think he deserved the title shot in that... Gray May- Maynard's been as good a run, in fact, beat Frankie Edgar and still didn't get the title shot. Nah, I think he probably was backing away for the title shot to be fair but still so that is a very valid uh, observation and you know it's right there I would I would prefer to see Gray myself but uh, the fact is Frankie's there 
and uh, I think Frankie's going to win. I He's going to match set him. I think B- I think BJ will beat him. Uh, it goes down to the fact, even you heard it uh, when they're saying when they're talking about whether it be Graham Maynard or Frank Edgar. You know, BJ's people would prefer to to have Frank Edgar. Since when do you pick your opponent? I mean, <laughs> that, that's not the way it should go. If you if you beat a guy, you've won all your fights. You're number one contender. That, that that's wrong. But I'm still going to go BJ just because he's. His boxing in his last fight against Diego Sanchez was sweet as a nut. It was beautiful to watch. I loved yeah. him. Not a lot of people doing yes cartwheels down there. No, I, <laughs> I don't even know if he's capable of yes cartwheels. In fact, his cartwheel right up to 170 after that ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting on his meditation couch like this. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> so it's not one <laughs> Right, yeah. no, I'm the, again, I'm BJ, you're. I'm going to go for Edgar, yeah, yeah. So it uh, could be two new champs, could be the same two champs. Fantastic. Uh, Next movement. Is that, is that a sponsor's corner? Oh. Is that a sponsor's corner? So. Master Wang here. This is the Go Fast competition. So if you live in Scotland and you can subscribe to the MMA show, you can win a Go Fast goodie bag. Now it's an easy question for participation. The MMA show's favourite energy drink is A. Go Fast Sports, B. Go Slow, or C. Goat's P. Leave your answer in the comments and good luck. Only open to Scotland. Welcome back, welcome back. Check out Go Fast Sports uh, here in Scotland. Fantastic. Great product. High energy Going. beverage. Drink. Tastes like strawberry laces. It's good. So it tastes like. So it tastes, hey, if you think it tastes different, get your comments uh-huh. in. Subscribe. Tell us what you're thinking about anything. And the taste of go fast. Who's next? Uh, B from next, the CP. Uh, uh, Must have more the main man Gracie versus some twiler. I don't know who's fighting. The, be- the biggest color. fight in the card. As you see, I'm digging up here for Mr. Hughes. Who? who? Matt Hughes. Never heard of him. See, if you're a regular subscriber, and I know there's quite a few. Oh, definitely. 70. Um, you would know that the muscle mall has a strange mental condition. <laughs> Where he is uh, in favour of this man, uh, I don't like to see his name. I think Henzo Gracie, fantastic. Uh, he, he's obviously he's old school. He's fought the best. He's got the jiu-jitsu, obviously. He's not had a lot. He's not had a lot of MMA fights. Oh, uh, I don't think he's oh, had a lot. Oh, I, oh, I see a lot of MMA fights. Oh, I pioneer. He's fought all over the US. He's fought in he Japan. Oh, I, he's fought everybody and anybody. It must be he's not won a lot of them. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> see what he did there. See what he did there. No, I was confused, Jamie. But he's he can <laughs> fantastic MMA. One of the pioneers, you know. Obviously, get beat by Sakuraba, the Gracie Killer, snapped his arm. Uh, and it, one of the things about that particular fight was he got his arm snapped, but he did not cry. But even better than that, as he smiled and talked can a good sort of game to Sakuraba, and basically said, you know. I could not show him that I was in pain from my from my broken arm. I thought that the guy's obviously crazy in the head, and that's why he's going to win. He's fought BJ Penn, lost. He's fought BJ Penn. I, I think they're trying to build this as a bit of a grudge match. We spoke about before with the you know, Matt Hughes has fought uh, Matt Serra, beat him. Ricardo Almeida beat him in Abu Dhabi. Big doll. And also he uh, beat. Yeah, the other Gracie, I've lost his name there for some reason. Ah. Hoist, Hoist, be Hoist Gracie. So it's just going to be another Gracie. Quite convincingly, I'm oh, I, I, I mean, he brutalised them. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I see this fight being a kind of, I think Henzo will come out quite flamboyant with striking it. Maybe not at the beginning, but at some point he will try and be, be at the end of the day, I, I see them being itchy-peachy for striking. Both of them not great at striking. Hughes with a massive advantage in the wrestling. 
to, 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 to say something about Matt Hughes not being awesome at staying. Oh, no, he 